Hi, stargazers. I'm Marcy of Earth Sky. Look for a waxing gibbous moon in the evening sky on August 2nd and 3rd. On August 2nd, the gibbous moon will be approaching the bright red star Antares. And then on August 3rd, the moon will slide close to Antares. In fact, the moon will pass so close to Antares, some observers will see the moon occult or pass in front of Antares at 2 UTC on August 4th. If you look outside then and don't see Antares, that might be because it's behind the moon. Others will see Antares close to the moon. Where do you have to be to see the moon block out the light of Antares? It'll be visible from parts of Polynesia, New Zealand, South America, and Antarctica. Use binoculars to get a better view of reddish Antares and the moon. You can watch Antares disappear or reappear or just shine brightly near the edge of the moon. Once the moon moves on, Scorpius will be easier to pick out. It looks like a fish hook or a J pattern of stars, and Antares marks the scorpion's heart. Antares is a massive red supergiant star. It's so big, if it replaced our sun, its outer atmosphere would extend past the orbit of Mars. And here's a fun fact. Antares means rival of Mars. Here's Mars through a telescope. When they are together in the same area of the sky, they both shine with a reddish color. However, Antares is red because it has a low surface temperature, meaning it's a cool star. It's much cooler than the sun. On the other hand, Mars is red because it has iron oxide, also known as rust, on its surface. I hope you like stargazing as much as I do. Please like, subscribe, and share so you don't miss any upcoming night sky events.